Lieutenant Colonel Marsha Lee Clark, Marine Corps Base Hawaii, Headquarters Battalion, Commanding Officer. Okay. And uh, ma'am, um, I'm handing you a picture of Captain Branch. Mm -hmm. um, what would you like to say to the captain? Uh, if I could speak to Captain Branch today, I would tell him thank you. He definitely paved the way for me and <clears throat> other African-American officers in the Marine Corps right now. It's when you look back on his history and you read his bio, look at the photos of him, you realize that he was fighting for something that he had not yet achieved. So he was fighting for freedom that many of his colleagues of other demographics could appreciate, but he yet at that time could not appreciate it because he didn't have it. So I would definitely tell him thank you for being that bold and courageous to fight for something that he didn't yet have. Okay. and. Um can you tell me um, a little bit about your time in the Marine Corps, ma'am? My time in the Marine Corps, it's been festive and challenging. I've certainly enjoyed um, every duty station I've been to. I can't say there's a part of my career that I've regretted or felt slighted about, but I will say that it, it has been challenging because you do walk into boardrooms, conference rooms, you walk into meetings, and even though you may want to think that color or gender does not matter. It's brought to your attention more than you recognize, so you do have to acknowledge it when you're engaging with other people. And being the commanding officer, you do realize that as you stand amongst your peers, you are different, you do stand out. So um, those who have come before me have paved the way to where you shouldn't recognize this, you shouldn't feel this, but it still lingers and you do wear that title pridely pridefully, um, and for that I am grateful. Okay, ma'am, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, I would have to say that for those who came before me and had to bear the burden of fighting for freedom they didn't yet have, they had families to support them, so I would just ask those who are currently serving that they rely heavily on their families when they get to points where they're struggling, they always have a support system to keep them going.